Welcome to Date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today I'm really excited about speaking to three ladies and one beautiful man. We'll speak more as we get on with the show. As my first set of guests on the show, I have uh, the most wanted uh, Shalaka Vijay Ratna who is joining me. Uh, and then the others just came on the show. <laughs> Accompanying him, of course, his beautiful wife, Tisakya, who has been on the show a few times. So now we have stopped all the formalities with her. We'll get on with the show and we'll tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Shalaka. I'm in the real estate property development sector. Uh, this is my first time on Date with Nanu. Uh, pretty excited but pretty nervous. Uh, this is probably my fifth time on the show. Uh, I've been here before with my mom, but today I'm here with my husband and two of my very good friends. I've seen his shows before. Um, I love his interactions with his guests and uh, looking forward to another fun show. Danu is probably the only person who can get me to come on a show like this five times in a row. Uh, but he is a dear friend, I've known him a very long time. And uh, usually I always say yes to anything he asks from me. Danu is a very close friend of my wife's and uh, uh, he's a very nice guy so I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I'm excited to be on the show and I'm excited to see how he's going to basically put me in the hot seat. All right, welcome to the show. Shalaka, thank you for being here. Thank you, Danu. Are you still feeling nervous? Uh, yeah, a bit. But you are more comfortable now? I'm more comfortable. Yeah, just don't think of the camera. Yeah. You just talk to me like we always do. Yeah, true. <laughs> What's that look? <laughs> <laughs> in, in reality, this is how my life is. Tisake is in the middle. <laughs> um, I don't know how to respond to that, Danu. <laughs> uh, all right, so thanks for being on the show. Um, Tisake is here to speak about her fashion label, which has actually gone from strength to strength, and today it's, it's in a good place, and we're going to talk more about it. But I would like to start with Chalaka. You are a smart, smart boy. Um, as in Scholar. Um, I did well yes. in school. I worked hard. <laughs> Don't be modest. Okay. You have... You left with, I don't know how to say this word, so I wrote it down because I'll kill the queen <laughs> and everyone else who even came up with it. So I'm not going to say it. What's that term that he left with? Um, I'll let you say it. Which one? The, what you graduated with. Ah, yes. Summa cum laude. <laughs> See, it's so much easier <laughs> when a smart person says it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now that's like a big thing, right? Um... It's Some, kind of, yeah, of course, somebody, don't be modest, but just tell, yeah, just, how are you so brainy? <laughs> it was a lot of hard work and uh, throughout the years at uni, so I maintained my GPA, so gradually that those honours. He's one yeah. of those people who can like, you know, ha enjoy life, but also like study well, study well striking and manage a balance. things. Yeah, and, yeah, very. You really need somebody like that. <laughs> I'm so happy. I definitely yeah. need somebody <laughs> like that in my life, yeah. for sure. And that's great. So, uh, Shalaka, you are not somebody who is out there talking. You are you're quite a bit of an introvert or uh, shy? Very shy. Very shy and an introvert. But when I do get comfortable, it's a okay. different story. Like, TZ knows. TZ is the one who actually gets me out of my comfort zone a lot. So, <laughs> Good on you. Yeah. So, now, how did you all meet? I know that you were just snatched. Pretty much. Snatcher. Uh, Pretty much. I don't think that's quite how the story goes. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, no, I but didn't. he is younger than you, right? He is two years younger than me, yes. <laughs> Bit of a Madonna happening here. <laughs> okay, so younger boys are more fun. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> you want to... Uh, you yeah, want so I did, I did know of her before. I've seen her around. And like on those commercials and all, yeah, right? Actually, school. School interactions. School, yeah. right, right. Seen her and then... Uh, actually, it was at a mutual friend's house who's actually on your show. Uh, Aurelia, who's ah. on... So we met 
at Aurelia's officially somewhat. And then uh, TZ was there throughout the night. Then she left. She went home. And then I mustered up the courage to ask Aurelia for TZ's number. Right. And then we started texting and uh, rest is history. You were not Basically. shy then. Uh, I was well, not, he was yeah. shy. Like any time we met, uh, he would never look at me directly in the <laughs> face. <laughs> he wouldn't really talk to me either. But uh, he had a very cute smile. Mm. See? Yeah. I've seen all those features, don't worry. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> yeah. Continue. Uh, yeah, and so I don't know. I just, uh, we, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be. We were both taking a gap year waiting to go to uni, so we mm, weren't yeah. really. I didn't really think it was going to end up being anything beyond the time like, that we were right. there. But uh, we are here 13 years later, so yeah. So who kept at it? Who wanted to make sure that. Both of us, I think. Yeah. Both of us. I think at different stages. Yeah. Different, like, I know initially it was him, then me, then him. And now we're married, so it's like a partnership, you yeah. know. Yeah, now it's done. It's yeah. yeah, pretty just, much. Just you have to deal with it. We did long distance for five years, so. That, that yeah. speaks a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> had to really, that like, is. commit. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to speak to Shalakya about is the fact that you know, Tisakya does come from a very green family. <laughs> when I say green, I'm not talking about gardens. I'm just talking <laughs> about the party that they support <laughs> and they sort of hold close to their heart. Uh, on the other side, he, he's a very, uh, is it red or blue now? It's quite confusing. It's uh, ma maroonish. Yeah. Uh, maroonish <laughs> yeah. color there right now. Uh, so uh, at their wedding, it was quite interesting. Everyone had like an, e they had their own entrances, like the, uh, the presidents or the current president or the past presidents. And it was like a wedding that was kind of split in terms of the um, voting goes. <laughs> How do you all like talk about this? Like I'm sure during election time, you have to have a conversation. Um, I, th I think it's actually mutual respect for each other's opinions. So at home, we make it a point not to talk about politics. No. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much. But during elections, I mean, uh, I mean TZ is supporting a mom. so. Uh, I'm most of the time with uh, my family as well because they also have share the same uh, political views. But I do respect Tizi's mom. To yeah, a great but extent. I saw what was really nice the fact that you had shared one of her posts during her campaign. Yes, and that was the first ever time I saw something green. <laughs> Apart from that, it's always the the poor two sides that I've seen. I'm like, that's very interesting. That's what you call great partnership. Yeah. Uh, how was it for you? Like, uh, I'm sure like uh, politically all are so split, but. As a family that is so involved in politics, how do you all like sit at a dining table? I think it's just because in Sri Lanka, it's uh, political opinion is very personal. Very personal. Yeah. You know, so we, I mean, to make sure family flourishes in an environment such as what we are in, I mean, it's mutual respect. You know, so we just make sure that we don't get into those conversations uh, often. You know, and yeah, I we, think yeah, it's. I think that in like his house, obviously, uh, it's pro. Uh, the Rajapaksas, but I don't, I don't have any problem with that. That's mm. their house, their family, views their views, their political views. And, and how I was it for them when you were getting married to her? Oh, my, my family, oh, yeah. they love her. They love her, so. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Danu. Can't, can't quite compete yeah. with me there. I've mean, also known my in-laws for th like 13 years. It's Fine. like a bit I, difficult. I have 13 more. Okay. <laughs> sure, go for it. Oh, yeah, tell me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, even Shah, like, he respects that my mom is his mother-in-law. And uh, we're also big on family, so he's, like, supportive of that. Mm. And so we just have respect. And, we, and also, I'm not a really a party person. I'm more like, I support my mom. Yeah. So it's, I don't get into these heated Correct. arguments. That's amazing. Now, I did get a phone call just before we started recording. And I'm going to tell you all about it when we do come back. But on the other side, we have someone who is named after a flower. Hello, my name is Aralia Tevapalan. I'm the founder of the clothing brand Aralia and I'm also a public servant. I'm an advocate for child protection rights and I'm working with the most vulnerable communities uh, around the island in rural villages. This is my first time on a date with Danu. I'm quite anxious knowing Danu uh, and his um, sticky questions at times, but looking forward to being on the show with him.
Welcome back. We are now joined by Aurelia on the show. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Danu, for Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> She's also like blind a little bit. Yeah, I can yeah. see you. That's great. I'm also blind, so yeah. if I don't wear my specs, I don't think all of y'all will look the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for being here. So you have been kind of the Cupid that sort of got them together. Yes, that's right. Actually, both of them are family friends of mine. Were you in the retinue of their wedding? Yes, I was in oh. the retinue as well. You had like the whole country? <laughs> I did not have the whole country. I had all my friends and my cousins. Yeah. We're, still, we're still friends with all those people. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's like great. Very yeah. close, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think people wonder. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you think it will go this far? Um, I actually did, I think. Hmm. Um, I knew they would work. I, I was uh, quite a strong advocate for it. <laughs> yes, she was. Because Tizi at first was a little uh, hesitant. Um, but and I was like, ha. Oh, you are anyway hard to like. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. I, was, I was very, I mean, and like, because Tizi, of course, both of them are very close to me. But Tizi is like a sister. So if Shalaka wasn't a very good candidate, there was no <laughs> way I was going to allow it yeah. anyway. Because actually but after we, I left her house the first day, like I properly met him, he messaged from Bambi's phone saying, hey, did you get home safe? So I said, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then and you're like, Bam, uh, Bambi <laughs> yeah. means, okay, just Sorry. so you know the names. Aralia. Aralia, aka Bambi, Tisake, aka Tizi. Tizi. Okay. So <laughs> Moving on. I want to say that it's teensy or teasy. No, it's teasy. <laughs> no, this conversation is ridiculous. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And so then I got a message from Bambi's phone where he messaged me. And then the next morning, he messaged me again from his phone. Mm. So I was like, how did you get my number? Yes, Bambi had very conveniently given it to him. I think conveniently because no, no, sure. as soon as Tizi left, Charlotte was like, tizzy, tizzy, tizzy. <laughs> so just oh take God. the number yeah. and go. <laughs> yeah. Same man. Yeah, no, but I would have definitely not encouraged it. If it was not. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, but in terms of list of things that you have done, uh, it's, it's a lineup of amazing work. Uh, just to go back to my star guest today. Okay, yeah, um, sorry. Uh, just sorry. to <laughs> <laughs> see Nani. Uh, so you, okay, you qualified in so many things. If I had that, if I was that qualified, I wouldn't be doing this job. So I'm going to just ask you, what exactly have you done and how did you end up working with the Hamadri Airport and all um, of that? So initially, uh, so I graduated with a bachelor's um, in science for aeronautical science. I concentrated in airport planning and design. Uh, so I was, I always wanted to come back to Sri Lanka and work. Um, so I didn't stay on after I graduated to actually look for a job in the States. I came back here and then... Uh, Which is a good thing to do, <laughs> run <of> the <laughs> uh, So I came back here and then I was hired by a consultancy company, uh, which uh, was one of the main consultants for the Hambantari Airport. I was hired for that portion of it, but then there was a government change in 2015, uh, which actually then pushed me into project management in the real estate sector. And since then I've been in the real estate sector learning every day. Uh, do you miss the other one? Technically, I didn't work. It's my yeah. passion, yes, but I didn't work in it, so didn't you really never yeah, fell never in love with it. Uh, you also started Heel Lanka. It was after the 2019 uh, Easter attack. Correct. And I know that uh, Tisakia was also sending me, and y'all did some great work, and it was very transparent. That's the most important yeah. thing, mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of people don't like to f give donations because they always feel like, where is this money no, going? True, 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 yeah. true, very true. And what is the thinking of uh, Hail Lanka and wh where does the project stand right now? Yeah, so um, I started with the, uh, initially with, the co with my co-founder who was a very close friend of mine, uh, Amjad. Uh, so we started it right after uh, the Easter Sunday bomb bombings because we realized that there was a lot, there was a lack in response uh, from uh, the main, uh, I mean, the government at the time. So we just got together as friends and we realized that lots of people needed help. So we did go to National Hospital, we visited the victims, uh, had a few conversations with them, and uh, we just also wanted to diffuse the, the racial tension that was being built. Mm. Uh, so we went and spoke to them, and then from there on, we actually chose about, uh, selected about seven to eight families that we met at the, at the hospital. And from there on, we've been in touch with those families, so we'd, we do help them with livelihood assistance during Christmas, things like that. We give them a call once in a while and find out how they're doing. Mm. So that's what we've done with Heal Lanka, but obviously due to work, and it's a voluntary organization. Yeah. So uh, with work and since we are all just friends doing it, it has taken a toll on our work schedule. Yeah. So and also the fact that the last two years have not been the greatest Correct. year for no. people to come forward and fund as much as they would Correct. want to. True, exactly. Yeah. But we do help with also the pandemic, yeah. uh, any pandemic related needs that people have and stuff like that would, yeah. uh, still as well. So. 
Have you ever thought of politics? No, I haven't. I'm a big advocate for him for doing it. politics. Yeah, because right. it's always good to have people who actually have something in their head to <laughs> run initially, a country. <laughs> initially, I, well, before we got married, I told him, no politics. I don't yeah. want to marry someone who has politics. But now, the more... You see what is what happening. What I see, what's yeah. happening, and I know his intentions. You know that it. people in this country still do vote for looks. You have that covered as well. <laughs> but, okay, beyond <laughs> that, <laughs> his intention it's for the, the country. Truth. No, but it's, that, that, that's not something that I want to do. I'm okay. more focused on my career and see yeah. where that takes me. Fine. <laughs> Got that. So, he didn't want to come on this show. I was very scared, not that he doesn't like me. That's the total opposite of that. <laughs> uh, he really didn't want to be because he's just very shy. But I made a personal phone call. It sounds very nice now when yeah. I say I made a personal <laughs> phone call. And I explained Basically, that I he bullied him and emotionally no. blackmailed him. I told him that I will not put him in an awkward situation. I'll be very nice to him oh. for him to come on the show. And I'm so happy that you did. And I must tell you, one person who was very proud that you were coming on the show is your mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, Madame Rosie Saranayaka made a phone call to me oh to dear. speak all high praises oh of you. Gosh. And she was so <laughs> proud that you're here, so which is amazing. She and loves. Yeah, obviously. Can you blame it. her? Uh, but, <laughs> sorry. <Okay. laughs> but I must say, it's absolutely amazing that you came on the show, and I'm so happy that you do what you're doing. But we should advise your mom to change the uh, WhatsApp profile picture. Well, what is it? Because he looks completely lost in a very tall family. Uh, ah, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> in our, yes. our wedding, my brother's wedding picture. Yeah, I and think it's like it your brother and you all. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> just completely lost. Yeah, you've been lost. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to settle for that picture up for you all. Just take a look at poor souls. Anyway, thank you so very much. It was thank lovely you, having you. We're going to speak more to Aralia. And of course, we have one more who is going to join this gang to speak more. If you have not, uh, if you don't know her, you would have definitely tasted her brand. It sounds wrong, but it's the truth. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. We'll see you after. Hi, my name is Shalini Fernando, uh, and I'm the co-founder of Isle of Gelato. Um, I love to travel, I love fitness, and I love food. This is actually my first time going on a date with Danu and I am very excited but also very nervous because Danu has a knack for asking a few awkward questions. But I'm really excited, I love uh, Danu and his show. I've watched so many episodes and he really has a knack for bringing out um, everyone's true personalities which is a really rare thing for a, a TV anchor so I'm really excited but also a little bit nervous. Back with us on the show on Date with Danu. Right now, we have Shalini Fernando joining us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Danu. Did you all plan this outfit to come for my morning funeral here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really always did. in black and white. Yeah, true. Yeah. Actually, Tizzy is always in like monochrome. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. not sure what happened with me. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also went to It's fine. I have to just today. lie dead here. That's about <laughs> yeah. it. We're framing Aralia. Yeah, yeah, I can right. see that. She's, yeah. the, she's the center. But I must say, I wore this Aralia actually thinking of you. Oh, oh thank you. I didn't you. want to say it at the start. Oh, oh. sweet. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That mm. is very sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyway, so we do have a pack. When Aralia hits 40, it's way before me. Uh, if, if she's single at that time, we will get together. We will get yeah. together. It will just be Thank a public you. ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, right. So let's speak about uh, Tisakia's brand, um, Moon and All About the Stars. Correct? The moon and all it stars. Moon and all it stars. I couldn't think of one word like so, moon. So when I relaunched it this time, I shortened it to maze. Oh. <laughs> I thought you would be very Now it's just maze. Now it's just maze. I mean, it's still the moon and all it yeah, stars, but just, you can just say maze Right. Now. So maze is uh, predominantly a, a sleepwear brand. Yes. Uh, literally PJs. Yeah. Um, best time of the day <laughs> so uh, what made you take this up because you have done fashion and you love yeah. and I think when you showed in China I think everyone said your stitching was on point it was yeah. beautiful so why do you take this part so I think uh, I mean I studied textiles and surface textiles so I uh, always wanted to do a high-end brand with with national crafts but while I was trying to figure that out I thought actually I there was like a niche in the market because 
whenever I wanted to travel, I could never find any sleepwear here. Mm. So then I decided, okay, why don't I just try and start and with a few pieces? So I did that in 2018 and I started selling at the Design Collective. And it progressed and it actually I had a lot of, uh, a very positive response to it. So uh, last year I decided I kind of wanted to do it full time. So I actually ended up uh, partnering with someone and we've now relaunched it uh, just a month ago uh, with both sleepwear and loungewear, which we eventually want to turn into like a lifestyle brand. Amazing. Yeah. I, loved, I loved what I saw on that day, but there were no sizes for a big child to go to sleep. Oh. So then I had to like come back empty handed. I went back into my usual nude. I have sizes coming, Danu. Good. I have Thank sizes you. coming. <laughs> Aralia, so you work with the, you work in advising, you, adv you, are, you are an advisor to people who are in politics. Um. I'm a actually former government servant and I have also worked in an advisory role as well. Uh, I was in politics and in the civil service as well. And now you're working with? Uh, um, now I'm working with an international development organization, but I'm still in public service. Okay. So Do you, what was your calling when you were growing up? Although you, you have always loved dressing up and you have your own uh, designer brand, sari brand called Aralia. That's wow, right. what a creative way of thinking. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just named after you, but. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, tell me, uh, tell me about what was your calling? My calling was definitely to serve my country. Uh, that was always, I, I actually wanted to join the army when I was small. Yes. <laughs> you would have seen them in revealing clothing. Yeah. <laughs> Very <also> like <laughs> <laughs> tight fitted. <laughs> the attention would have been somewhere else. <laughs> But uh, I would be I would be worried yeah. if I was to come Everyone in contact with Everyone would have her. been very military. <laughs> I can't. She's never going to be able to go back to her job. <laughs> I can't be just. <laughs> Good unit. Okay, continue. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So... I knew that, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to be. Yeah. Politics was not initially a part of the plan, but as soon as I graduated and came back, um, I just happened to get into it and I did really enjoy it. Um, and I think I took great pride in being able to work for my country. Coming to you, my favorite of the get lot here because she will give me ice cream. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> you created Isle of Gelato. Now, you all have an array of flavors. Yeah. How in the world do you look like that? <laughs> I work out a lot. <laughs> yes. Like a lot. Mm. These guys would probably say too much. But yeah. yeah. She works out like twice a day. Twice ah, a you're one of them. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. And voluntarily. Yeah, yeah. And she enjoys it. And enjoys yeah. one of those. I really yes. enjoy it. So. Really? Yes. Do you enjoy your ice cream? I do, I do. I okay. have a crazy sweet tooth. I love my sugar. Yeah. So I've got I one part right in my life. <laughs> I love the sugar, not the working of it. Yeah. Yeah. And how has, like, how has it been going? Because at one time, Sri Lanka, if it was ice cream, we only had like, we never thought of it as a moment to enjoy life. It was just a dessert option. Yeah. Yeah. But now it has become like, trendy people want to have different flavors uh, sri lanka stuck to like basic chocolate vanilla strawberry for the longest time yeah. when you introduce like new things how how did the market see it um it it's actually been going really well so like you said for the longest time ice cream was just like oh it's just after lunch something to have but we wanted to make it like an experience in mm. itself so that was um that was our kind of intention from the beginning um we actually before um, my husband and I got married. I didn't know what um, I didn't know what gelato was because I oh. just thought it's like ice cream, you know. So and then we got engaged in Italy. We traveled across and then tasted gelato in all these different places. And it is just a completely different dessert. Number one, and it's like an experience. You can mm. really like sit and enjoy your gelato. So yeah. we wanted to bring that here. So that's what we did. But we also wanted to give it like a a Sri Lankan twist. Yeah. So all of like a lot of our flavors have something from 
our island and we yeah. I think we have the best flavors like we have the yeah. best fruits we yeah. have such amazing spices so we put a little bit of all of that into the gelato so <laughs> Yeah. My favorite is mangosteen. Their mangosteen. Have you tried their mango? The, the, the sorbet. The sor <laughs> Even the gelato <laughs> cakes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Unreal. Oh, yeah. The salted <laughs> kind I don't know why we oh don't have this here while we talk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we need to come back and know uh, how, how they know each other and all of that. We'll get to that after we do this segment that I love the most. And it's called Hot Seat. Welcome back. So this is my favorite segment and it's called Hot Seat. And I'm going to start off with a newcomer, Aurelia. Are you ready, my darling? No. <laughs> okay. From the two ladies seated next to you, who do you think looks best in your sari? I would say Shalini because she was my model. I don't want to know why and why not. I just want the answer. <laughs> if you could be a political advisor to the to one of the following names, who would you pick and who would you stay away from? Lohan Ratwatta, Harshadi Silva, Maitri Palasiri Sena, Dilum Amunagama, Ravi Karanayaka. I would say not that this individual actually I don't want needs explanation. my help, <laughs> but if I could be a political advisor, I, could, I would pick uh, Honorable Harshadi Silva MP and I would stay away from the rest. Who do you think sh should make a comeback into the parliament? Mm. Duminda Silva, Ranjan Ramanaika, Mervyn Silva. Um, if I had to pick from the three, I would go with Honorable Ranjan Ramanaika. Kiss, kill, marry or ghost? Adam Flema Caldera, Harin Fernando, Sanat Jayasuriya, Shalin Balasuriya. Um, I suppose I would ghost Sanat Jayasuriya. Who would you marry? <laughs> um, okay. Adam? Okay, I, I'll marry Adam. No, I, I, I will not marry Adam. <laughs> I, I'll say I'll marry Harin. Shalin? Harin. Harin. You're marrying, Sha you're marrying Sha Harin. Okay. <laughs> Who would you kiss? Adam or Shalin? I will kiss Adam. So you're going to kill Shalin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him, so... <laughs> Choose the tagline if you were to market Sri Lanka to an international audience. Right now we are so Sri Lanka. The O is a bit too big and we might fall out of it. So <laughs> tell me what do you think we should use? Lassana Lanka. Okay. That's actually nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> Charlie, need to you now. Okay. If you don't have your own brand, where would you get your ice cream fix from? Um. Options are Carnival, Rio, Alarix, Highland. Maybe Rio. Okay. If you were to pick an eligible bachelor for Aralia, <laughs> what would be the criteria you would be looking for? Criteria. Okay. Has to be um, ambitious. Um, has to be loyal. Give her lots of attention. <laughs> yes. Has 100%. to feed her. And somebody who can <laughs> see. I mean, yes. that's not <laughs> ideally. Not Although they can both I be blind together. I think the others are probably more important because, yeah, she's also blind. He's so also fine. kind of. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's okay. be fine. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Put these into perspective. Money, friends, family, God, husband, love. Family first. Mm. Uh, family and husband first. Friends, love, and then God. I'm not very religious. Money comes after all of that. Yeah, money last. Okay. If you were stuck with one flavor for the rest of your life, which flavor would you choose? The Natty Professor. Okay. <laughs> Assign political portfolios for the following people. Oh, wow. Okay. Malsha Kumara, uh, Kumaratunga? Um, she's a very strong woman, so I would say women's affairs. Mm. And also, I do think that the women's and children's affairs ministries have to be separate. Because, like, I mean, children's affairs and women's affairs are two completely different things. It shouldn't all be lumped together. So, Malsha for women's affairs. Okay. Viran Peter. Viran. <laughs> I love Viran. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Political. He's not very political. Yeah, though. but you can give him. You can even give Minister of Makeup. <laughs> ah, or yeah, we can make up ministry for sure. <laughs> Ministry of yeah, makeup definitely. I'll send the whole Parliament there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Vivek Jayasuriya. Vivek Jayasuriya. Uh, sports. Sabrina Hurft. 
to Drina. Mm. Can I do like beauty and style? Okay. Ministry of Style. Yeah. Natalie Jayasuria. Ministry of Dance. This Akia to you. Well done. <laughs> oh, I know I'm nervous. Out of the two ladies seated next to you, who do you confine the most in? Bambi, because I've known her the longest. If you were Rose in the movie Titanic and Charlotte, your husband, was Jack, <laughs> how would you like to rewrite the ending of the movie? I'd put him on the, on the door. <laughs> Does it mean that you'll drown? Yeah. How can I put myself on the, the door? The ending that I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, no, no. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, Dan. I'm very s so sorry. <laughs> He's trying to find like somewhere. I know, swoop in and I'll save I'll be the lifeguard. Yeah. <laughs> He'll see Literally. me, I'll be still alive and trying to fall. <laughs> and he will like, leave me there and go. Can I like, give you some emotional support? <laughs> 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 uh, match the following men with the ladies that you think suits them the best. Oh my God. Men. Mervyn Silva, Alston Koch, Chandimal Jaisinghe. Alston Koch, by the way, had a music video which Rosa Sedanayaka starred in many, many years ago. Your ladies are Johani, you know, Honorable Minister Pavitra. Of course. Pushpika Di Silva. Mm -hmm. These are your three ladies. So you have to match Mervyn Silva with either Johani, Pavitra or Pushpika. Who would you choose? Um, Pavitra. Honorable Pavitra. Okay, Alston Koch with Johanny or Pushpika. Who's the other male? Chandimal. Pushpika. Alston Koch and Pushpika. Okay. <laughs> no, and no, wait, wait. Um, no, that's nice. Uh, Chandimal <laughs> and Johanny can be together. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure she, he'll help out with yeah. all the things that she needs. If you had to retail your clothes, which of the following outlets you'd pick apart from Design Collective? Okay. Numa, Warehouse, PR. Mm, one, I have to pick one, PR. If you could choose the next mayor of Colombo, who is the following who, would, who you would pick if you had the power? Pooja Umashankar, Caroline Jury, Pushpika Di Silva. Pooja Umashankar, since I know her. Done. Thank you, well done. I must say, you played it the best. Okay, thank you. But. Good news, all three of you win this. Oh, okay. <laughs> How amazing. I am like Dan that. Dan is the host with the most. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, amazing. You'll really love everything that's here. Um, there are things that are kind of pink and nice as well. You want to check it out? Yes, thank you. All right, so, huh? Yes, pink. There you can have the pink stuff. No, I'm gi giving each of you a bag. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Such a carry <laughs> We're getting to a break. We'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. We are getting into Sticky Situ. Arali, as someone who came back to this country and wanted to contribute towards serving the people and serving this country, do you think our country is in the right path for a greater future? Because uh, visa officers are full of applications. Um, I think uh, the country is in a difficult situation, but so are so many other countries around the world. Do you feel that you can blame the leaders or do you feel time, you feel the blame has to go to this so-called virus? Uh, no, I think the virus has also played a role in it, but I think we, when it comes to leaders, we have to, I don't think you can only blame leaders because even citizens have a role to play. And if we take the pandemic, I think the citizens had a very important role to play and being responsible. The leaders can only do so much. I think the country or people in the public are very quick to judge and criticize politicians no matter which party they come from. Um, I think also it's really important that the citizens, when they see something that is wrong with our leaders, they have to make sure that they hold them accountable which I feel does not really happen because the citizens don't really realize how much power that they hold. Um, so if they can do that, then we can... Do you, feel, do you feel that the system is scary, that people don't challenge the system? 
I don't think that it's scary. It's Until you go missing. Well, well, no, not really. Actually, I think people just like to say something, but they don't actively do something about it. You know, they'll always criticize all the politicians and all the bureaucrats and all oh, the system is this and this is not happening and we want to go from the country. But can they sit and say one significant thing or even in a small way that they have done something to contribute towards this country. It doesn't mean that you have to serve in the government. There are little things that we can all do as individuals as well. Shalini, as someone who's running a local business, is it hard, especially during these days, with a stop to imports, lots of things not coming down, KDPT being the biggest <laughs> issue, uh, and I think ice cream is made out of milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it can be challenging, especially during this time. I'm, I can't really complain because we've been so lucky. Like, we have an amazing customer base who's remained loyal throughout this time. And because of them, we're still here today. I mean, I know a lot of businesses went under, so touch wood, like, um, we're very fortunate, but it is quite challenging with import restrictions and the um, dollar being sky high. Mm. So there are challenges to it. Um, when you work closely with a brand, do you feel things are just black and white, or do you feel that things are also gray? If you want to get paperwork done here. Things are, well, in, Theory, they're black and white. Yeah, means the printout. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> as in, it, that there is a process, but it is not followed like as it should be. So that I mean, there might be a process for exa for example, like for setting something up or for registering something. But you have to go through so much to kind of execute that process, which is not really there in black and white. Um, but I think it all depends. Um, how you go about things as well. If you leave a little bit of leeway, a bit of extra time, I think you can get things done. Uh, the import restrictions have been tough, but we try to source a lot of things locally as well and to support other local businesses. So in that way, it hasn't, it hasn't been too bad for us. Um, but the pandemic, the F&B and the tourism industry has been hit so badly by um, a lack of tourist arrivals. So fingers crossed that things go back to like, not to normal, because let's be real, I don't think things are going to go back to normal anytime soon. But I think we're getting there with the vaccinations and everything. I think we're getting to a point where we'll be, I mean, we'll be ready to welcome people back to this country. And we have so much to offer. So like, everybody needs to see Sri Lanka. So, sure. yeah. uh, Tisakya, would you advise your mom to contest again? As somebody who works with her closely? As her daughter, no. <laughs> uh, as a citizen, yes. Good answer. <laughs> we have to get into a break. Can't see. Uh, what is that segment called? I have forgotten. Yes or no? Yes. Let's get into some of those questions. <laughs> More games is always fun, right? So. This question, these questions are very simple. Just be honest and say yes or no. Nobody's going to judge. Okay. Except Dana. All right. Have your parents caught you in an awkward position with your partner? Not my parents. <laughs> Do you usually follow your brain or your heart? If it's brain, <laughs> Heart. Oh. Are you friends with your exes? Mm. Arale, do you have? <laughs> have you fallen in love with love at first sight kind of a situation? Mm. Oh, sorry, you can't say. Love at first smell. <laughs> 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 Can't be here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever fallen asleep at school or work? No. Have you ever run away from your house? No. Yes. Where did you go? <laughs> I was a teenager. And where did you run away? Uh, like not very far. I got like <laughs> called back real quickly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so much for running away. Yeah. <laughs> My mom like just. Called. Have you ever laughed so hard that what you ate or drank came out of your nose? Oh, yeah. 
Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> I can vouch it for it. It to you on a regular, regular basis. basis. It's coming out of my nose. Have you ever fallen in love with your uh, girlfriend's friend? Girlfriend's friend? Girlfriend's boyfriend. boyfriend. No. I have a strict policy on that. If a stranger suddenly arrives and kisses you, would you let them? No. No. Aurelia? <laughs> <laughs> one good She's super. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We are not going any further with this. <laughs> she is single, single, single. Please don't even put her name. Just put single. <laughs> Just put single Aurelia. Aurelia <laughs> Tisa can single. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know why. <laughs> uh, <coughs> have you ever told someone that you hate them? Uh, have you ever told them about their sleeping, snoring issues? Who snores? I want to know now. My husband. Really? <laughs> my dad. My, my husband. Okay. I don't have any to <laughs> If you win the lottery, would you share it with your friends or family? Oh. oh. Family. Pick, yeah. Both. Both. Yeah, both. <laughs> And I win with you. <laughs> Would you forgive a betraying friend? Yes. Uh, Bambi, you know it's a no, so just yeah, put the no. Just put up the no. Um, I might. Lies. Such lies. You're not winning Miss Congeniality here. <laughs> just say it. <laughs> okay, if someone has betrayed me, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> She's still angry with people who have betrayed us. Yes. yes. And that has she doesn't doesn't yes. See, I will be angry with people who have betrayed them, but if it's to me, of course I'm okay. Also if someone's betrayed her and we talk to them, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's I should never get into Aurelia's bad book. No, no, you should never. No. And don't ever talk to anyone who has because then <laughs> yeah. you'll also be axed out for yeah. How would I know? I'm good that I don't know. She'll I, tell you. I mean I don't want to know. <laughs> you just, will know. <laughs> I just want to let know. it be. As it is. Let's get into, we have a game, right? We have one more game. One can word. Can you read what that is? One, one word. word. One word. <laughs> I can only see a whiteboard there. <laughs> okay, so that everyone is here, I thought, let's play one more game. But here, mm. here is a whole process. You cannot think, you have to give the answer soon. Mm. If you all take time, Aralia, if you take time, <laughs> I will blow the whistle. Okay, right. but Aralia is also partly deaf. I am. Yeah. I am partly deaf. That's true. Would you like to fix it? No. No. Because I'm scared. You have lost two already, eyes and ears. <laughs> <laughs> now you There's just have... smell also... Fading off. Sometimes because <laughs> <laughs> I have sinusitis, so <laughs> the nose is blocked and can't smell. I don't Dear. know who gave her a driving <laughs> license though. All right. True. <laughs> Tisakia, the first thing you notice in a person? Smile. A word that best describes you when you are drunk? I don't drink, but uh, not very balanced. <laughs> One thing that you regret never having tried out? Acting. The most embarrassing piece of clothing you have worn on the streets? I'm never embarrassed by anything, but I'm sure my mother would have me. <laughs> Your least favorite household show? Cleaning bathrooms. Aralia, have you ever drunk so much to a point of passing out? No. One thing that you enjoyed trying and will definitely try again? Ice cream. <laughs> no. um, really? That's the answer? I tried. Um, I do martial arts. I would continue that. No. What about you? Would you like to be noticed by the other when walking into a room? How I smell. If you were to go under the knife, which body part would you choose to do over? Maybe my face. The whole face? No. My <laughs> 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 How to get on your good books? Uh. <laughs> Be nice. Shalini, if you could change one thing about you, what would it be? Um, my height. 
With my height. height. <laughs> if there was a second life, would you like to come back as a man or a woman? A woman. What's the first thing you grab every day in the morning? Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> that is what I know. That is like. <laughs> <laughs> Would you pick comfortable silence or non-stop conversation? I think conversation. <laughs> One thing you'll do every day, all day. Yeah, I guess talk. Okay. <laughs> I think Tisakia won this too. Yeah, for sure. Tisakia, you keep meeting everything. Let's get into a break. We'll see you right after. It's time to get on their social media and I did some digging. Okay, so... Aradhi, I know you have worked with uh, Rose Serenayaka. Mm -hmm. What's this all about? <laughs> <laughs> That's me covering my arms. <laughs> yeah, but uh, do we see a similarity here? <laughs> I feel that's unfair. Anyone who covers their No, yeah. the shades. Ah, the shades. The hair. The whole thing. No, the hair is, that's my usual hair. But like... That's not how Auntie Rosie has it. <laughs> this covering thing was definitely for my arms. I think when, whenever somebody wears their sari like yeah. that, because Auntie Rosie has that signature look, thing, everybody yes. everybody, everybody yeah, it's a habit actually. <laughs> yeah. This. Too close <laughs> to say otherwise. Aww, Is this me? Oh, sweet. How cute. Look at my dad. It's been a year, more than a year. I know. It's been a year and two months. You are sleeping as well, no? I'm attempting to, yeah. <laughs> Do you know where this was? I think we were on holiday somewhere. I think um, the tea factory. You're also supposed to tell the story with the what picture, right? Not okay, just sorry. Look at it and wait. There is. <laughs> oh. oh, this is my mom when she was working for the tea board in England, and she's still friends. Actually, that's only one lady, but she's still friends with all the people in that picture. And one of the girls, one of the one of her friends in that picture, her daughter is one of our friends as well. She looks bomb. She, she does. She's gorgeous. I can't see much. I saw Auntie Rose. She can't see. I can see the other person. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't see. I think that was in um, in Australia when I first went for uni. That's. That's Vivek, right? Yeah. That's Vivek and my cousin's husband. You have really changed. I have. Oh my God. <laughs> I was, I was chubbed. She was cute and then you're cute now. But how the hair? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Wow. That Very is cute. a long, long time ago. Yeah, quickly tell because I'm holding the picture. We, this was on New Year's. I don't actually remember which year. But uh, I had like jet black hair at that time. And uh, this was like very early on in our relationship. Oh. See, if you think I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a habit that I have, actually. That's why if I pleat it, of course, I keep it like this. But <laughs> and that was outdoors in the sun. I'm sure my mother would be flattered. She loves Baralia. I think it's a new insult to her. Me rose in it. She will not be too thrilled to me being compared to her. I think she'll be. No, but it's just trying to get there. No, no. Early, I always known that you're a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was when I was in Widows. It was the last time I was on stage. And you were? <laughs> well, actually, I was not a widow. Uh, I was an abused wife. You can get out of character now. <laughs> 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 I just had to say that. <laughs> that like, just you said single, single, single. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's Aww. my mom when Cute. she was at oh <laughs> Air Lanka, which was her first job actually. See, in South she she about the country. At all. Yeah. You, both of you have the same laugh. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's my dad. That is a very old picture and that's at his house. And how old were you here? I don't remember, but it was quite some time ago. 
Oh, that was obviously in Paris. Um, just I think a week after we got engaged. Yeah. <laughs> this is when you all were eating the ice cream. Yes, <laughs> correct. <laughs> This is a Christmas day, my sister and I, and this is one of my father's favorite pictures of us. Mm. And before he passed, he had like sent it to all his friends. Sweet. Yeah. Who is the bossy one out of the two? Mm. She. <laughs> I would say her. I'm sure she will say you. <laughs> you all, all have had huge retinues. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this is Shalini's wedding. Yeah, my wedding. Yeah, Shalini. Give it to her early, and she can't <laughs> she see. She can't see. <laughs> She's dressed as the bride. Babe. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, and give these also to her because I don't think she saw any she of the saw pictures. Any of them. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't actually. <laughs> you can actually. I'm surprised have she recognized her father. Yeah. And her <laughs> yeah. yeah. This was a really nice marriage. <laughs> Only <laughs> now she's reacting. <laughs> yeah, no. This was nice. <laughs> it was a beautiful wedding, actually. It was. Oh God, the memories are coming. Stunning, <laughs> stunning wedding <laughs> at Jetwing Lagoon. It was one of the most beautiful weddings I've been to. It How really did was. the friendship start amongst three of you? How are you all connected? School? No. Uh, no. Uh, no. So TZ and I, uh, I've known my best friend for like my whole life, literally, and she's her cousin. So I've known her as equally long. Okay. The three of us grew up together, actually. Together. Right. Shalini, I was trying to think the other day how yeah. we met, but we so met when we were in school. No, I no think before, before that. Way before. Was it from class? Mm, actually, oh my God, maybe Miss Geeta's economics class. Yes, yes that's right. right. We've been friends for like a really long really time. Really long time, like time but I couldn't realize figure out how you like become that. friends. So and me yeah. and Aralia were in school together. Yeah, we so. were best friends in school. Yeah. So we've all been friends along. Good. Yeah. I'm so happy that now you all remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been amazing, and I wish the three of you you go super big heights in all your professions. Thank uh, you. If you do m see Aurelia's page, do check it out. There's some amazing creations, and the best part is there's always a touch of pink in everything that she wears. <laughs> always. Yeah. Thank always. you so much, yeah. Dan, for the But uh, make sure that you ask for a linen jacket. <laughs> yeah. Yes. She uses a very small amount of clothing when it comes to her. <laughs> but it's nice though. Yeah. She looks great in Yeah, sari yeah. jackets. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Uh, Shalini, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for uh, I will c call you because yes. I will be putting up my own freezer at home. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. I will stock it regularly. Thank, thank you. <laughs> so good, right? So good. Yeah. Uh, Pisaki, as always, you know I'm very fond of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you for being here. We'll thank see you with another cool episode to date with Danu. Till then, it's a wrap.